Hello there, Julian Pratz here with a new tutorial about the DJI Mini 2 photogrammetry basics and about how to create a game scene with the help of the Unreal Engine 5 software and the Capturing Reality software. Before getting into it, if you find my videos interesting, I would suggest you to like them, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and of course share the content if you think some of your friends would like to learn something new. The softwares you'll need for this are Capturing Reality and Unreal Engine 5. Both softwares are free for visualizing purposes. You only need to pay if you export the geometries created and of course the videos. To get access to these softwares you need an account on Epic Games. For all of them you'll have links in the description down below. From the beginning I will tell you I've used both videos and photographs to create 3D models with the DJI Mini 2 but I found it much easier and better to use videos instead. For this specific demonstration I will use 5 different videos from 5 different positions in order to obtain as much information as I can about the object to make sure we can reproduce a decent 3D model out of it. Now if you want a much detailed model you will obviously need to use photos instead but for me works fine with videos. Of course there are an infinite ways of positions to make sure the object will look fine that's why you need to work out what suits you best considering the final result and what your plans are. You can use the 3D model created in many ways from showing the measurements to an architect who wants to create some 2D drawings out of your model or even to just create an animation in which you can show the location of your object and also its surroundings. But the subject of our today's video is creating a 3D model and then integrate it into Unreal Engine 5. So with all this being said, let's dive into it. We are going to start by dragging and dropping our videos and I found it as a good practice selecting the frames to 0.5 to get frames every half a second. I know it's time consuming but it's totally worth it. We then press OK and now the waiting time, it all depends on the video's length and your PC capabilities. As soon as the images pop in, we need to align them so we go to align images and then we press OK. Now with the images being aligned, we can see the flight's paths with the photographs attached. Because we won't need to keep the whole point cloud, we'll need to clip it and we do this by clicking on the point cloud and from here we choose the amount of data we want to use and when we are happy, we press on the normal detail button. After the mesh was created and we are happy with it, we need to add a texture to it. So we go to texture and then we press OK. And voila, that's our DJI Mini 2 3D model created. Once we are happy with the model, we need to export it as FBX file in order to import it into Unreal Engine 5. And we do this by pressing the Reality Capture logo and then we press Export. We then write FBX in the search tab and then we press on it. We want to make sure the settings are the right ones for Unreal Engine to be able to use our file. So we select the night from the settings and then we leave everything on default. Next step is to download a game environment for Unreal Engine in which we will import our 3D model and we create the game scene. To do this we go to Epic Games and then Marketplace and in the search tab we write game environment. We search for a 3 game environment and then we press create project. It's gonna take a while as it's a big file but the waiting time is totally worth it as you will notice. When the download is complete we press the Unreal Engine icon and then we wait for the game environment to be created. 
As soon as Unreal Engine 5 pops in, we go to Content Drawer, we right click Inside and we press Import. And then we need to search for the 3D model we created earlier. When we have the 3D model into the Content Drawer, we can then drag and drop it into the game environment in a place we think it's gonna look good. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because it's gonna help me a lot with the YouTube analytics. Have a good day and enjoy it.